To bring in the episode Amok Time is Spock's arranged fiance, and she gets a bad reputation in fandom as she orchestrated a plan that led to a fight between Kirk and Spock so that ultimately it was revealed she manipulated a lot so that she could marry another Vulcan. And Spock is understandably pissed at her for putting him in a situation where he has to, again, homoerotically fight uh, the guy he's been interested in. But I don't think the framing is in the best place. I think Chaprin gets too much blame. It's too much blame pushed on her. I think a lot of it... Well, Spock is understandably pissed at her. And a lot of it is his own shame and his own feelings and his own... Uh, reflections on his situation kind of being directed at her. I think the real issue is maybe Vulcan arranged child weddings is a bad idea, period. They were chosen for each other in childhood. They're clearly not a match. Spock showed up to his own wedding in his work clothes. He's not putting any effort into this. And she wanted to marry somebody else. So did he. <laughs> this is not a situation that's worked out and she's actually doing something about it. She's not committing to staying in a loveless marriage. She's arranging, using the cultural, uh, uh, the cultural understandings, the cultural rules, so that she can get what she wants. And that works out for him, too. <laughs> I wish the framing was better on this. And I wouldn't be surprised if there were some damage control uh, additions done in rewrites. But I do think Supreme deserves better for, again using a bad situation and using the cultural understanding she has in order to get out of a bad situation to get what she wants. And I also wish this understanding or this idea was explored a little bit in the episode at how a civilization can be so advanced in some ways and yet so backwards and behind in others. You hear a lot about how great Vulcan is, you see a lot about how great Vulcan is. You see they have a, you know, they have a they have a woman, a female Vulcan, as the High Council, who is so respected amongst all the galaxies, even Kirk can't look bad in front of her. But then you have uh, Vulcan arranged child weddings and, you know, horny fights to the death. You know. I wish she was a little explored more. I do think T'Pring deserves better. I think she's really interesting. And, yeah, she's calculating, she's manipulative, but again, it's not really about... She's not trying to hurt Spock, she's trying to be with the guy she loves, and it works out for Spock too, so he can be with the guy he loves. Justice for T'Pring, live long and prosper.